1969, it was Midnight Cowboy. In 1970, it was Five Easy Pieces. Each year, out of nowhere, without fanfare, one motion picture appears and rises above all others by the sheer force of its honesty, its accuracy. The movie for 1971 has been chosen. It is called Pigeons. Listen to what Judith Christ, tough drama critic for the NBC television network and New York magazine says. Pigeons is a rarity about youth, but oriented to people. It is in fact a youth version of five easy pieces. Its non-hero is Jonathan. He's muted in seconds. I can't help it. Jonathan, as beautifully portrayed by Jordan Christopher, is about 10 years younger than the Jack Nicholson character. Jonathan's a Princeton graduate. He works as a cab driver. Why? I want to show the world the back of my neck. John Dexter, the brilliant British director, like John Schlesinger before him, has cast an English eye on New York City. Dexter probes not the lower depths that engulf the midnight cowboy, but the middle and upper levels. Don't worry about the sofa. I'll buy your mother another one. Dexter has paced his film beautifully and interestingly. You'll find pigeons very funny, very sad, and very satisfying. Would you respect me if I slept with you right away? Yes. Listen to what Wanda Hale of the New York Daily News says. Pigeons is beautiful full of natural humor and merciless humor. I'm not a Catholic. Listen to what Archer Winston of the New York Post says. Director John Dexter has brought fresh English eyes to New York City. Everyone you see is resolutely out of the ordinary, heightened, far out, without seeming to try. It's an original. Quite the young rebel, huh? No, 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 sir. I'm not rebelling. I'm just earning an easy living. That's all, sir. Pigeons, starring Jordan Christopher, Jill O'Hara, Robert Walden, Lois Nettleton, Bonnie Enton, William Redfield, Kate Reed, Elaine Stritch, Melba Moore. In 1969, it was Midnight Cowboy. In 1970, it was Five Easy Pieces. In 1971, Pigeons.